Ho, 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 and welcome back to the Busy Gardener Christmas gift episode. If you're like me, sometimes it's hard to think of what to get that gardener in your life. And in this episode, I've got 10 Christmas gifts that I think are a great fit for gardeners, things you didn't even know that you were missing until you see them. And it's gonna range from stocking stuffer type stuff to some really high quality things you can send out to the loved ones in your life. Let's get busy. And before the video goes on any further, why don't you let me know what is the best gardening related gift you've ever gotten? I'd be curious to see what you enjoyed. There's so many types of gardening that are out there. There's raised bed gardening and then there's fruit trees and then you've got in the ground gardening and all of those things have different needs. But I do all of those things and I've got a handful of gift ideas. And these are gifts that are based on things that I have actually used and can say this is probably gonna get you a big thumbs up from whoever you give it to. I'm gonna be linking to all of these in the description below. So if something catches your eye or you're curious about it, head down there, you'll spot some options. Now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and hit the join button and see if there's a Busy Gardener level of membership that works for you. There's some perks. I appreciate you who are already members, really energizes me, helps excite me to keep going. So I've got 10 that I wanna walk through. Let's look at the first. First thing I wanna show you as far as a gift is not actually these pruning shears. Pruning shears are fantastic. They're great for cutting stems and different things, cutting branches. But this has some limitations, both when you get larger than what this can cut and smaller than what this can cut. This isn't actually the best tool for everything. And so in the garden, let's start small first. The first thing I wanna point you to in terms of a gift, which is kind of a stocking stuff or really inexpensive, are either something like these Corona snips or these Corona gardening shears. And these are both fantastic for doing those smaller cups. If you're cutting something like herbs or things like that, having some like these snips are fantastic because you're not having these big unwieldy blades. You've got the small snip that's able to get in there and to make the cut that you want without damaging all the other stuff. So it's not as unwieldy. And something we're really loving are these Corona shears. These are kind of like kitchen shears in some ways, and they're great for flowers, both in terms of it creating a very clean cut, so that way those flowers don't dry out on you, they're gonna last you longer. And it also has this groove here that allows you to make those cuts on the stem. It grabs the stem and is able to exert a little bit more pressure for those flower cuts and those little plant vegetative cuts. They're a little more firm. So, stocking stuffer, first one, I think these are great, snips or scissors are fantastic. Second thing, going to the other end of this, is a pair of loppers. Now, these Corona pruning shears can cut to maybe like an inch, inch and a quarter diameter at the most, and you're having to exert a ton of pressure. That's where these come in. Look at it, this is like two inches, or I don't even remember how big this thing, two, two and a half inch throat here that's able to accommodate a much larger branch. And one thing that I love about these Corona ones, you've got many options. You've got some really tall ones like this or some smaller ones like this. They both do the same thing. They both do a wonderful job getting through those big, tough uh, stems or branches. But one reason why I would recommend these as a gift is these are a lot more versatile. Whereas you've got a fixed length, which gives you the most amount of leverage, sometimes this is a little bit big if you're in a, you know, kind of an area where you don't have a lot of room. So these dual link with comfort gel from Corona are fantastic, not only because they have this compound action, which is kind of duplicating and adding to the power that you have, but they also have extendable arms, which make this super convenient in terms of getting some additional leverage. So it, whether you have like some off kilter thing that you're needing to do, or if you're wanting to just get some leverage way out there for some either branch or something where you're needing to go way out here. I'm a big fan of these, very versatile. If you're gonna buy one, this is the way to go. All right, let's look at number three. Another thing that's a little bit of a stocking stuffer is this Hori Hori gardening knife. And this thing is a fantastic thing to have on your hip in addition to your pruning shears. This ends up doing a few different things in the garden. It's kind of Swiss army knife without anything moving on it. And so you've got an ability to dig with this blade. It's very strong. You've got a depth gauge for planting bulbs. You've got one edge that's a little bit sharp. It's not as, as very, very sharp, but it's something where if you needed to hack into something, it's kind of got that type of blade. And on the other side has a serrated blade if you're needing to cut through some sort of roots and you don't have to worry about this thing really being damaged it's very very sturdy 
And so Ori Ori knife is one of those things that you kind of are surprised you were able to live without before. Next thing that you probably didn't know what you were missing is an upgrade to this trowel. Now this trowel from Corona is fantastic. I love how this thing catches your finger and then it's got a little place on your thumb to really get some good leverage going. But as a scoop, these things are kind of not that great at that. And so that's where I've started using this actual scoop. Also Corona, similar thing. But this thing is able to hold, if you just look at it, it's able to hold like four times the amount of soil. So when you're transferring, or like when I'm trying to fill like these pots over here with this dragon fruit, going into that potting soil, I'm able to get so much more material with one of these than with a trowel. So I actually find myself reaching for this more often than the trowel. This and the Ori Ori knife seem to kind of cover the entire gamut for me. So scoop is the way to go. Somebody's gonna thank you for making their life easier. The next gift idea is something that you might not have thought about before, and that's this thing called a hip trug. This is by Bergen Ball, and this is an amazing thing. It's got a little belt hook on the side. You just keep this on your hip. When I you like to use it when I'm deadheading roses, so that way the petals aren't flying everywhere. I deadhead them and then I just have this on my side and I'm throwing them in there. I also use this really heavily when I'm thinning fruit because I'm having to get behind some things. I don't want to drop a bunch of fruit on the ground and then I have to come and pick it up. So I'm just dropping that thin fruit in here. This part stays on your hip and then this comes out, gets emptied and put back in here. So I find myself turning to this. I've been really, really happy with it and might be one of those things that you get for the gardener in your life, make their job easier. Well, most gardeners have some sort of gardening gloves. Now, I was just wearing these. We were putting up some of our, our blackberries and trellising them. And a nice pair of leather gloves, which I'll link to also, are fantastic because they get rid of you getting scraped and poked by so many things. But what happens when you're dealing with something like my jujube that I was working with that has these long thorns? You know, these gloves only go till about here. And so unless I'm wearing something that's very, very thorn proof, like some sort of jacket, it's I'm getting poked and scraped on my arms. And that's where I've really loved using these gauntlet gloves. Now, these have gotten a lot of use. You can see that they're green and stained with berry juice because my boysenberries are full of thorns. My jujubes are full of thorns. And when you're reaching in there, you it's so helpful to have something that extends beyond where just the regular leather gloves end. And so having some gauntlet gloves like this, I think these might be goat skin. These have been a game changer, and my kids are always begging to borrow these. <laughs> I say yes, of course, unless I'm wearing them. The final three gifts are if you're wanting to do something really special for your loved one. And the first of those is something that takes the place of having to wear knee pads. Now, as I was working on my boysenberries and blackberries, I was in there, the garden was poking me in the knees, but these are so unwieldy sometimes. They ride up on your leg. You know, we've all tried to wear these things. And so one thing that I've been so happy with have been these pants from Revolution Race. And the secret on top of it having really tough material is it has these built-in knee pads, which are total game changers. You can be on the ground and all of those things with this maybe quarter inch thick material are being dampened. You're not feeling sticks prod you, you're not feeling things poke you. And so these pants allow me to be out there on my knees doing all my pruning in the ground. I love these. So I'm gonna link to this. If you've got somebody in your life who is does a ton of gardening on the ground, they're gonna love you for something like that. The next one that I wanna point you out is something that's a totally unique and living gift is something like this raspberry shortcake from plantingtree.com. I got this myself. I was so impressed with how it was shipped and there's nothing like sending a living gift to your loved one, something that they can plant and enjoy year after year. And whether it be something like this dwarf raspberry that only gets this big or a fruit tree or some sort of indoor plant, something like plantingtree.com will make it so that you can ship something right to the doorstep of your loved one even if you don't live anywhere near them. Really amazing. And the final Christmas gift recommendation this year is a hose reel. Something that you don't even realize you're missing until you have one is a hose reel. Now, I have been so used to wrangling my hoses. They're spread all over the place or they're just a real pain to get wound up. And I know some people love doing that stuff. I don't. But having something like a retractable hose reel that you're able to pull out, use, and then have it automatically wind itself amazing and that is really something that is listen i would i would come over to your house and thank you if you had sent me something like that i have a giraffe tools hose reel which has been fantastic up in the orchard it can reach every corner of the orchard which makes watering my dragon fruit and things that aren't on a drip system so easy and so that might be something to consider
there are so many options when it comes to buying something for your gardening loved one. You've got aprons, you've got long handled tools, you've got any type of other saws and things like that. You've got buckets. And so it's just the tip of the iceberg here, but I hope this has given you some ideas on what kind of gifts you might want to get for your loved one for Christmas this year. They're going to thank you. You've built into their passion and they might even share some of their produce with you. So there's always that. Anyway, I appreciate you tuning into this episode of The Busy Gardener. And whether you've got one Christmas gift you gotta buy for your loved ones or 500, until next time, stay busy.